Hi, a very happy new year. First of all, um, I, the agenda of this video is twofold. Uh, one is to kind of give you an idea on what are the major uh, ways through which you can enter the industry. And secondly, uh, why you should, you know, uh, plan on entering the industry as a fresher. Now, even though this topic is something that I have talked about on this channel before as well, but this time I have six members. Okay. I have, in, I have kind of like, uh, asked my colleagues and friends, um, to, to make videos that when they were freshers, how they got their first opportunity, how they got their first industrial job, just to, you know, substantiate my claims. So, so that you don't believe, you don't think that I'm making these claims just out of, you know, out of the box anyway. Uh, <clears throat> so the thing is that the major ways through which, uh, one can be placed as a fresher is either through campus placements. Okay. Or the second is through referrals. These are the two major ways, not uh, like, I don't have any statistics to back it, but 90, I think more than 95 to 96% of the freshers. Okay. I'm talking about freshers who get a job in the industry would be through campus placements or either through referrals. All right. And there are a very, very few uh, people or lucky people, I would say who get a job without campus placements or without uh, referrals. Okay. How you can get that is, um, you know, you need to be extremely, um, well connected, uh, in the sense that you should be constantly following various job portals, or you should always be looking out for the opportunities, or you should be following the right people who post about these opportunities. And sometimes you will see that they ask for, for freshers as well. So you can definitely, you know, apply there. Secondly, uh, sometimes there are walk-in drives. Okay. And so instead of, uh, you know, instead of, uh, you, um, uh, how do I put it? So you know, you, you directly get interviewed. You just need to walk in and you get interviewed. That is one way because see what happens is even with referrals and campus placements, it's not like, you know, if you have a referral or a campus placement, you sure shot have a job. That's not, that's not how it works. Okay. You need to give the interview. Okay. You need to give the interview. You just get shortlisted for the interview or you don't even get shortlisted for the interview. Your, uh, let's say, so how, how does it work? First you, uh, you, uh, you know, send out your CV. So in most of the cases, what happens when you're a fresher, your CV doesn't get noticed. Okay. But when you have a campus placement or when you have a referral, your CV gets noticed. Okay. So it's not like if your CV is not impressive and your interview or your, you know, technical skills are not impressive that you will be selected. That's not how campus placements and referrals work. It's just that through campus placement and referrals, your, your, your CV gets noticed. And once your CV gets noticed, you know, uh, uh, if it is good, then of course you'll be called for the interview and then further you might be selected. All right. So that's how it works. So it's not like ref if you have a referral or, uh, you know, that hundred percent, you're going to get placed. That's not how it works. Right. <clears throat> and, uh, anyway, so yeah, so I, like I was saying, they are walk-in drives. Um, so either you apply for that. In fact, when I applied for my first industrial job, so I was also a PhD fresher, right? Right after my PhD, I applied for this job and this particular job where I'm currently working in, it required zero to five years of experience. Like in, in the job, in, in, in the, in the description, it was given zero to five years. And I was very hesitant to apply because, you know, or, or, or you could say I was quite lucky that I got this job because even though they were actually accepting freshers, uh, but, uh, you know, if some candidate who has two to three years of experience, if he or she might have applied, there's a high probability that they might select that particular candidate, right? So it's very difficult. I was, I think I just got lucky or maybe they liked my profile, um, quite a lot. I don't know the, uh, know how it works or what worked for me, but I did get without a campus placement and without a referral. Okay. So again, I would say I'm very lucky because it, it is very, very difficult to get it that way. All right. Anyway, uh, so the second part, uh, that I wanted to address is why you should you know, um, kind of like a uh, go for this, uh, just, uh, you know, you, you, you might have seen the number of cases again, COVID is, uh, is, uh, on, on, on the rise. And, uh, again, it puts a lot of uncertainty uh, in these examinations like CSI net. So let's say if you want to do a PhD in future, right, right after MSc, but in these uncertain times, you never know, you might not get, even if you get selected, you might not get the visa. All right. So, uh, the thing is that, uh, industries, uh, generally, function, uh, whether there is COVID or there's no COVID, right? So this might give you some certainty once you get a job, maybe, you know, it will calm, calm you down. At least you have a job with you and then you can look for better opportunities. And when a good opportunity comes your way, you can definitely, you know, uh, grab it. All right. And a lot of, lot of, in fact, a couple of, uh, the, uh, colleagues or my friends that I've interviewed, 
they have also joined uh, industry and then later on they went for their phd when things settled when things you know settled down so that that is also something that you can think about plus the industry exposure is very very important like i said even i earlier did not have plans but now that i have got industry exposure i would highly recommend that everyone should get that exposure because it makes you really um efficient if nothing else all right so anyway um, i hope uh, uh what um, like uh, you get an idea of what i am trying to convey and rest my friends and colleagues will also um you know uh kind of like validate my claims so here it goes hey everyone i'm pradyush i have completed my masters in organic chemistry from st joseph college and like recently like 2021 and i had applied everywhere uh, including all the platforms and it's like I, we didn't get any calls uh and but recently like not recently like past 3 months back my friend gave me a, a link like we can say a referral link for this biocon exam i gave the exam and then i cracked the interview then only i got the job i work in biocon limited in the api division as a qc analyst i work on the finished product and uh, the intermediates there Hi guys, I'm Rupali. I work as an associate editor at Cactus Communications. I work in the Center of Excellence of Pharmaceutical Sciences Department. Um I got this job through a campus placement drive at Bombay College of Pharmacy, which is where I did my MPharm. Cactus sent in their job description. Uh there was an uh, there was an aptitude test and then there was a technical interview round and an HR interview round. Um post this they offered me the role of a reviewer. Um and then I moved on to the role of an associate editor. So I got my break here through a campus placement drive. All the best. Hi, this is Vijay Rani. I got my first job in campus placement conducted by Origin in the Pune University. to grab the job in placement i did three important thing first first one is the did summer internship in the national chemical laboratory and second one workshop in the field of chemistry and third one i spent good quantity of time to prepare decent quality cv after join origin i was joined as a technical trainee in the medicinal chemistry department Hi, my name is Ritika Goswami. Uh, I had given the IIT Jam 2019, for which my All India rank was 362. After which you get different IITs and NITs. Uh, for ICT Mumbai, I gave a different entrance exam, for which my rank was AIR 14. After which I got into ICT Mumbai, and this is a two-year master's course. And uh, after that course, uh, I got placed into the organization that I'm currently working for. It's in uh, Gurgaon. and uh, i am currently working as a research and development chemist and uh, of course different organizations came for the placements for the students of my college uh, in the last semester including some in cosmetics pharmaceutical paint industry and well different chemical industries came and that's how i got placed after my masters uh, in chemistry hi everyone this is jeevika bafna and uh, i completed my masters in analytical chemistry this year from st joseph's bangalore like everyone i was looking for job i had applied on various platforms uh, and i did not get a call back uh, you know from a company that um, given to me gave me the opportunity to work in some r&d platform so in this meanwhile i got a call from my friend who was working in such an industry and i asked him to put on a referral for me when there's some vacancy which he did i got a call from that company after a few days and i gave him the interview it went on for a month and now i've been placed into momentum uh, performance materials and i work as a research associate i am in the electronics department of momentum and i work on thermal interface materials hi my name is harsh barwa uh, my first job uh, was at pyrpa uh, i got this job through one of the reference provided by my senior from my post graduate college who put me in touch with a recruiting manager at biocon uh, the role i was offered was for trainee in formulation development department which was for 6 months after which i was offered a permanent position of scientist in the same company hey guys so i am a verified educator on an academy and along with that i am also available on the an academy plus platform where i am taking live classes along with other educators so in case you are interested in attending the live classes you can subscribe to the an academy plus platform 
using my referral code that is SETHI SETI and that will give you 10% discount all right and in case you're not interested in attending the live classes you can watch the free courses that are available on the unacademy for that all you need to do is go to the unacademy website or download the unacademy learning app and search my name over there that is ACT once you do that you will get the access to all the free courses that are available on the unacademy platform all right